I'm an addict for Snickers. I'm an addict for Snickers. What's good? What's good? Back up in the building. It's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new episode here at the Sneaker Addict Show. I keep getting so many people that keep asking me, where's the Forging Iron video? I need a video on the Forging Iron from you. When are you going to review the shoe? So many requests. So let's do this hot or not. I have the opportunity to review the GS version. Basically the same version except the fact that it does not have that visible dynamic fly wire and I think the GS version doesn't have zoom technology and this doesn't have that lace lock so besides that we'll get up close as you can see you got that transition from that like tangerine orange to the darker orange on that armor posit you've got your silver swoosh and you also have toward the upper of the shoe you have your hyperfuse technology You've got your logo on the tongue in silver with your two-toned rope laces in orange, mesh tongue. You see more of that transition going on on the toe. And it's got that diamond cut kind of look on the toe with your silver logo. There's a look at the back of the shoe right there. And then on the bottom of the shoe, you've got your icy soles with on your plate. You've got like that glass breaking with the signature. There you go. Quick look at the shoe. I don't think this is a good buy. The price on this for men's is $250. It flew off the shelves. And to me, I just think that's absurd that Nike now is going to charge $50 just because of a shoe being more exclusive. There's nothing that they did to this shoe to make it worth more than the other shoes that came out. Like, for instance, the King's Pride, which actually had more detail to the shoe, like the interior. I could see maybe they can make it a little more, but this shoe is so basic. The color just has a little bit of that transition in and like that splatter kind of transition. And the lace lock is like a plastic, stupid lace lock. For them to charge $50 more just because it's a more of a limited shoe, that's not a good look for us consumers. It's really the beginning of something that could be really whack in the future because they're making $50 extra per piece that they sell for what? Like, why do they deserve $50 more because the shoe is more limited? And to me, the colorway is just an orange shoe. There's plenty of hot orange shoes out there. I personally have plenty of shoes that are very similar to this one as far as colorways, so I'm good. Some people may say, oh, well, you own Mad Air Jordans that are black and red, so what's the deal with this shoe? And to answer anyone that's thinking that or about to ask me that, the difference is, is that I wear a lot of black and red. I don't wear a lot of orange. I'm not going out dressed in orange every day. Like, you know, that's just not my style. You know, some people may dress up like an orange every day. I don't. I like wearing black and red. Those are my favorite colors to wear. So that's just my taste. But in this case, with this shoe right here, I did not buy the shoe because I refused to support this release right here i don't think this is a good release as a consumer to support i don't think that it was right for them to charge fifty dollars more for a shoe that's exactly the same shoe as all the other releases they've hit us with the china was 200 hours and this is 250 and the china had the upper was 3m it had so much detail to it them charging 250 for this is just foul there's no excuse for it and i'm not going to support that i know it flew off the shelves but at the end of the day I don't care. As a consumer, I respect my money. I respect the work that I put in to earn my money. And I value my money. You know what I mean? I'm not getting these shoes for free. So I'm not going to spend $50 more for a shoe that I could get in a different colorway for $200. And to be honest with you, I'd rather have another pair of those red ones than these orange ones. That's just my opinion. But leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Hit the thumbs up button if you love what I'm doing. Check out my blog, thesneakerratic.com. Post a lot of information on restocks. And also post a lot of information on upcoming shoes too. I just posted a whole bunch of new photos of the Kobe 9. So go to thesneakerratic.com. Check out the images, leave comments over there, and catch up on all the videos. I'll put links in the description box below. And with that said, I'll be back. Really, really. DJ Dell, you know I love you. I can do it all and I wanna. Got a dream, go for it. Just do it like Nike. No fear, wheelie on the Kawasaki. Crack your jaw like the white dude playing hockey. Dell's a winner like Rocky. Two arms up, champion, can't stop me. Wave game, be the team, New York, be the city. We the best, you we pity. See us shining like Diddy. 